To recap, at about 3.20, members of the Metropolitan Police Department responded to the area of Van Ness in Connecticut in regards to the sounds of gunshots where we located three shooting victims, uh, two adults who are in critical but stable condition at our area hospitals, and a third which was a juvenile who is uh, stable with a minor gunshot wound also being treated at an area hospital. Uh, we do not know any relationships at this point between any of these three. Uh, we are currently continuing to search the area and we have it locked down at this point as we're looking for any suspect or suspects. Uh, we do not have a motive at this time. We do not know the full details of what took place, but we continue to ask the public to just steer clear of the area as we continue to investigate. How close was that gunfire to the school? We're, again, we're, we're still trying to figure that out. We believe it was in the immediate area. Back there, Chief. From the initial reports about uh, how law enforcement responded, did they have an indication of what type of weapon was used based off the sound? No, unfortunately, I, I don't have that information yet. So as I stated earlier, several people naturally ran from the scene of hearing gunshots, and as the officers responded very quickly to the scene, as individuals were running, we did detain several individuals to determine their, their, their status, whether or not they were suspects or witnesses. But at this time, I do not believe that we have any suspects at this time detained, uh, and we're continuing our investigation. Chief, what, right now, are you going off the theory that this gunman is still in this immediate area or may have left the area? We're still exploring all our theories, but right now we are concentrating on in the immediate area to make sure that this is we've rendered this area safe for the public as well as everybody who's out here. Are your people going door to door? We we are in several buildings going door to door sweeps right now. Do you have a description? Just anything? A tall guy, short guy? We do not have any description at this time that I can put out. How do you kind of know what to look for in the building? That's part of the reason why we're doing a very thorough sweep. Any surveillance video you're looking at? We're still working on pulling videos to uh, to help our investigation. It was a little loud that he asked about that streaming event. It looks like, looks like people are saying the shooter streamed his hand. So there is a social media video that is out, but we have not yet been able to authenticate that that's even this scene, that's even today, or that's even here in the United States. We're still working on that. Mayor, your thoughts, sir? Well, first of all, I want to thank all of our first responders, the Metropolitan Police Department, Fire and EMS, all of our federal partners who are on this scene, who are responding and looking for the person uh, responsible for this shooting. Uh, we have three of our residents who have been injured, uh, and we are praying for their, their health and well-being. Uh, we understand two are in stable condition and that there was a, mi a minor gunshot wound um, to a child. Uh, and so so we're very focused on that. We're asking all of our residents to follow law enforcement instructions. Uh, stay in your homes, shelter in place until uh, the police are able uh, to release these scenes and safely uh, really dig into this investigation uh, close to where the shootings happened. One more question. Last question, please. The initial report, uh, when, when the, the, the victims were discovered, were there any reports of Good Samaritan stopping bleeding, anyone jumping into action before paramedics arrived? Uh, I have heard that. I have not been able to confirm that yet, though. Can we get some sense of how many shots we take on uh, they, they, There's one school there. There's, a, I believe, another school in the area that uh, that may have had some individuals in, in that ran towards it. Uh, I believe that they uh, were not in, they were not affected. Uh, the adults, one is a male, one is a female. We're talking about the Edmonds Correct. Chief, can you give us some description on how many shots you believe or may have been fired from witnesses or any, 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 any. We, Multiple shots. We, we do not have uh, that information yet. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.